Spider-Man has to be one of the weirdest superheroes out there. Think about it. He's a normal guy who has gained his superpowers by getting bit by a spider and his superpowers include throwing webs, crawling on walls, turning into an actual spider and having extra arms. I did not make this up, this is completely true. The enemies of Spider-Man are somehow even weirder. We have Frogman, Walrus Man, we got Video Man and the scariest of them all Big V. So naturally as a kid I loved Spider-Man. Why? Because kids are dumb. I remember when I was like 7, almost every Sunday on Cartoon Network they used to air the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies and I used to watch them on repeat. I always loved those scenes where Spider-Man was just jumping, slinging, cruising through the air and you know doing Spider-Man stuff. The new Spider-Man game allows me to relive those moments of watching those Sam Raimi movies as a kid. Let's get this out of the way, the visuals of this game are fantastic. The open world definitely feels like an actual live-like city. The cutscene and animation are not on the level of other top of the line games such as Uncharted, Red Dead Redemption or The Last of Us, but they are pretty solid. The moment you first set off as Spider-Man and leave your apartment, you will know that this is going to be a fun game. The web slinging is definitely the strongest part of the game. Cruising through the air while doing acrobatics and actively looking for buildings to swing on, all while a marvelous background score is playing. That is when this game is at its best. The game does a great job at playing at its strength, the traversal. Many of the missions are the same old go here, do this and go there, do that. But since the traversal in this game is so fun, just going from one place to another becomes the best part of the game. It is appalling to see that so many people ignore how bad the traversal and movement is in other open world games. You look at Witcher 3, considered as the best open world RPG, but the traversal in this game is abysmal. Watch Dogs, Witcher 3, Far Cry, Assassin's Creed. Controlling the character in these games is like playing with reverse controls. Except the controller is not even plugged in and it's not even a controller at all. It's a banana. Spider-Man just wipes the floor with these games with how nimble, agile and fast the traversal is. However, there are some stuff that truly holds Spider-Man from being an actually great game. The combat of the game is the classic beat-em up style quite like the Batman Arkham games but there are variations in enemies and gadgets so that it's not just a mindless button masher like the Arkham games. The story, it's just there. The dialogues are stupid but they are meant to be stupid. Because as I said, Spider-Man is a weird guy. My problem is not that. My problem is there is so much of it. It's like after doing anything, Spider-Man has to crack a joke. I gotta warn you, I'm feeling punchy today. What? Is it National Rocket Day or something? There are missions that are just straight up not fun to play. Looks like there's four of these around the building. There's the second module. Speaking of crazy, gotta find that last module. But all of this is minor in the face of the biggest issue with this game. It's pacing. Playing Spider-Man is like driving a car on a smooth straight road, except the road has speed breakers at every 20 meters. The game constantly keeps throwing dumb stuff to artificially increase the playtime. There are trailing missions. Why do these hacking sections exist? Why am I playing as Mary Jane? And why am I playing as this random kid? Every good game has its strength, be it atmosphere, the combat, the animations or the story. But only a great game cuts off all the bullshit and allows you to enjoy that strength. Spider-Man is a good game that definitely has its highlights, but it keeps pulling you away from the game to do dumb, monotonous, Ubisoft stuff. In the end, I would just like to ask... What? Is it National Rocket Day or something?